Now an update on the murder case against three South Georgia men who will soon be tried in the shotgun death of 25-year-old Ahmad Arbery. Today, the judge ordered that Arbery's personal mental health records be sealed for now. Video showing three men chasing Arbery in Satilla Shores near Brunswick when one of the men fatally shot him prompted nationwide protests last year. News for Jack's reporter Kelly Wiley was in the courtroom as prosecutors and defense attorneys argued over what evidence will be admitted at the trial. On day two of hearings in the Ahmad Arbery case, a judge decided he needed more time to figure out whether evidence of Arbery's past encounters with law enforcement and history of mental health evaluations can be shown to a jury at trial in October. Gregory McMichael, his son Travis McMichael, and their neighbor William Roddy Bryan are all three charged with malice murder and other counts in Arbery's death. Video shows the men chase Arbery for several minutes through their Brunswick neighborhood before one of the men jumps out with his shotgun and fatally shoots Arbery three times. Defense attorneys are pushing for permission to show the trial jury evidence involving Arbery's mental health. They argue mental illness could have played a role in the February 23rd shooting. It's not about the credibility of Ahmad Arbery. And it is okay to recognize and celebrate who Ahmad Arbery was in 2012 when he graduated high school, but it is reckless to disregard the mental health illness that plagued him for eight years leading up to this moment in February, of tw tw February 23rd, 2020. Prosecutors object, saying it's a ploy by defense lawyers to blame Arbery for his own death. They said, well, he's got a diagnosis and it makes him angry and it makes him, you know, emotional. And therefore, he must have been angry and emotional. And therefore, this is how he reacted that day. All of which is speculation and all of it is propensity evidence, which is not allowed. Also in discussion today were statements made by co-defendant William Roddy Bryan, statements his defense attorney wants excluded from the record. After the hearing, Arbery's family did come out and they've expressed, as they have in the past, that despite their son's past, on the day that he was killed, he had done nothing wrong. Now, the judge in this case says he wants to know from the defense what evidence they want to bring in and why it's relevant to this case. He says he wants it on paper and in the next 20 days. Reporting in Brunswick, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station.